Hello Internet, my name is Ryan Holmberg and I am an electronic musician from Southern California and today I am going to show you how to make a visual metronome on the Empress Zoya. Um, a while back I posted something on the Zoya group Facebook or Zoya Facebook group and some people showed some interest in having some tutorials made about using the Zoya to help perform electronic music in various ways. And I thought I'd start off with something fairly simple, and uh, that is making a visual metronome, or like flashing metronome, which is basically some lights on the Zoya that blink in time with your tempo so that you can kind of have something in the corner of your eye helping you keep time while you're making loops or playing along to beats or whatever you might want to do with that. Um, I was going to cover how to do it with Zoya's internal LFO and how to get an external clock from a different piece of gear, uh, like your master clock, whatever you use. In my case, it's an Octatrack, um, so I'll show you how to set that up too. Um, start with the LFO, so you go into the interface mod, no sorry, uh, the control modules. LFO, automatically it's set to square wave, you'll want to keep it at that, and you may want to activate the swing control, and I'll show you why in a second. So when I do a visual metronome, I like to use pixels, you can change the color of them, you'll find that at the bottom of the interface module list. So I like, I like aqua, it's a nice color. So usually I'll take that, well let's connect it, so I'll take the pixel and I'll just duplicate it a couple times so that the surface area of the flashing lights is bigger and it makes it easier to see it out of the corner of your eye. All right, so now we have an LFO which is turning all these pixels on and off at a specific tempo. You can change, if you press the knob on the LFO CV control timing, you can edit the BPM of it, um, and then the swing control comes in handy if you want to edit the length of the flashing. So over to the right, the flashing is really quick. I'm not sure if all those flashes are showing up on the on the camera, but then you can turn it to the left, and then the flashes become longer. Um, you don't have to do that, but if you want to really customize it, that's cool. And then from here, I'll usually just take the LFO and then just move it over to the next page or some other page so that all you get are the pixels and it looks nice and clean on your front page. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it with, with using the internal LFO. Um, so I'll delete that. And then the way you would use an external master clock is you want to make sure whatever gear you're using for the clock you want to make sure that it is set to send out MIDI clock and then you would take the MIDI out from that piece of gear into the MIDI input on the Zoya and then pretty much all you got to do is find the MIDI clock in module and then attach it to your pixels and pretty much all you got or all you need to do um, if you're using a really slow tempo, like like say 60 or something, and you want your flashing to be quicker than that, if you click on the clock in module, go to the edit page, uh, towards the bottom there's a beat modifier. So if you turn that to two, it will make it double time. So 60 then becomes 120, for example. Uh, and then from here, I would normally just move that MIDI clock module over to the next page and then have the first page look all pretty again. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, you can shoot me a comment and I'll try my best to answer it. And uh, hopefully this will be a series of videos. Uh, I have a list of things I want to cover. This is probably one of the most simple things I'll be covering, but I figured I'd just start off with something pretty easy to to get it going. I uh, hope some of you find this to be helpful and thanks for watching.